Well, you probably played it in gym class. The sport of dodgeball is no longer just played at recess in elementary school. This is the pinnacle of dodgeball. We have 300, 400,000 players around the world that play this sport. That demographic is not necessarily the demographic that's shared with basketball, tennis, golf, soccer. It's very untapped. My name is Phil Chan and I've been playing for six years. I'm Pete and I've been playing dodgeball for five years now. And um, what was the other question? <laughs> I guess that was the question. <laughs> we're going to be bringing you a brand new series, basically a dodgeball documentary series or what we're calling it, a vlogumentary, a vlog series, a docu-series, whatever you want to call it. We have pulled eight players together from seven different teams and together we are manly magicians. <laughs> so uh, my name's Vish. I've been playing for about going on six years. Currently playing for Belly Magicians with the Dodgeball Dudes. Let's go! <laughs> my name is Takura. I've been playing Dodge for about four and a half years. I'm Tristan Tran. I've been playing for about four years, four and a half years. Hi, my name's Amanda, and I've been playing Dodgeball for about four to five years now. I'm Eric, and I first started playing Dodgeball in 2016. My name's Craig. I've actually been playing close to nine years now. When I first started was back in Victoria. I joined it because I found it on Gumtree. Oh really? I did, yeah. I was looking for some tennis buddies at the time when I moved to Melbourne and I found an opportunity to go play dodgeball and I gave it a crack and fell in love with it very quickly. I love playing team sports. Dodgeball is like really about team. Before dodgeball, I played Oztag. That was a great team sport and it was a way for me to be healthy, exert my energy, lose some weight, but I got really injured from it. Step one is to always tape these two fingers together because these fingers will get I found dodgeball. Before it was uh, hashtag Oztag for life, but now it's uh, hashtag dodgeball for life. I play dodgeball because it's fun. It brings my competitive side out of it. It's also good to, you know, just throw balls at people. <laughs> it just reminds me of the times in like high school. I remember this one throw I did in high school, but I was like, you know, I was like 10 years old, man. I threw it, cracked some chick in the back. And I was, oh, so satisfying. <laughs> uh. So what would you say the best thing about dodgeball is? <laughs> Not hitting women. <laughs> Historically in high school, like I was never a good sports person. I never considered myself good at sports. When I first heard of dodgeball, I was like, oh my god, I actually think this is my sport. I remember saying that to myself, I think dodgeball is my sport. I was like, where else do you get to vent your frustrations and throw balls legally? and hit people out. You can't do that in any other sport, right? Other adults give you permission to throw balls at them. Like, it's so therapeutic. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I know. <laughs> Sign your life away. Let me throw balls at you. Please. Why dodgeball? Why should people sign up for dodgeball? Why should they play? Why should they even consider it as a sport? Why dodgeball? Why do you play dodgeball? Why should people join dodgeball? Oh. Man, sometimes you just need the time away for the social interaction. Yeah. <laughs> How good is it for your mental health? Yeah. That's why I do dodgeball. There's a lot of stress in life, in everyone's, in everyone's life. Work, career, friends, relationships, parents, families, you know, and it's just another outlet that is not of the usual styles of, of kind of like release or stress outlets. With dodgeball, you, you get to know a lot more people than you usually would. There's an amazing community. It's such a small community, but it's, it's, it is like a hidden gem kind of community. You got people from all walks of life, Everyone is there to support each other. Everyone loves the sport. Everyone loves to help each other. I think a lot of it is if you want to be part of a community that's supportive, I think that's a really big deal. I found my reasons why I wanted to play and then the community kept me in. In the past six years, I've made a lot of friends that I'd call my best friends and you know, I would say they're a big part of my own family too, isn't it? So it's not just dodgeball, it's, it's become my life now. I feel like the world is a very harsh place yes. and just being able to have like half an hour or like an hour spent you know just doing something that you enjoy with a group of people that you like or community brings a lot to a person and you don't really know who's out there in pain and needs this release as well as making more friends you become a fit person and you get to learn a lot more of dodgeball as a sport and sporting in general. Yeah, that's the, so true. The, the art of the skill of teamwork, the skill of communication. And also how inclusive it is the various types of people that can play. It doesn't really matter what sort of skill you may have, you can bring something different to it every time. So often in life, you beat yourself down from your daily activities, from your job and things like that. But dodgeball, it's a sport where you can grow really quickly. The better you become at dodgeball, the more confident as a person you become. I've seen so many people walk into dodgeball really shy and now they've opened up like a flower because 
they've really honed their skills and they've become so much better. And you learn so much skills as well, like outside of just playing dodgeball. You can compare everything you learn from playing dodgeball to the rest of your life. You know, little things like growing your mentality on court, being calm, can transfer to other situations in your life where you need to perform and you need to be calm. For me, I quite like it for the personal environment. I'm going in and when you get just by yourself and you're down to the last few players, it's almost it's all on you. You've got to think how to plan, what to do, and I love that strategic challenge. You make a really good call and then you hit someone. It's like you can celebrate together. Yes. Like I really enjoy that aspect of yes. dodgeball. It's just so satisfying putting a lot of effort into a certain area and then once you actually have the chance to execute it and you have the opportunity, you achieve such huge things and it's just so satisfying to, to go and develop. Yeah. So we're coming from six different teams. We all have all different levels of experience. We bring all different aspects of dodgeball to the table. There are some players, they've always wanted to play with us. We've never played with them at all, but now we're playing in a team and let's see how well we can work together. We want to document our journey from starting the team to getting to the end of the season to winning gold. We will be recording every week and extract value from each episode, teaching you what we have learned, whether it be team talks, call making, team synergy, and many, many more. We're going to be documenting every aspect of what happens in our team. You know, you can learn from our lessons, our mistakes, Stakes so that you can adapt and evolve and learn and become a better dodgeball player. And if you're just brand new to dodgeball and you want to start dodgeball, then this is the perfect place for you to just, yeah, see how it all unfolds. Our real goal here is just to really inspire you to want to play dodgeball, sign up for dodgeball and just get started. If you're going to think about dodgeball, it's four skills, dodging, throwing, blocking and catching. You want to figure out what you're good at, what you're weak at and uh, figure out what you want to progress in. So every time you step into the court, you have some something in mind to work on. Give it a crack and then you start realizing, I really enjoy this element. And so you just start pursuing that factor of it. So if you're interested in something that complements the rest of your fitness goals, lifestyle goals, thought it was a great place to work it out. And even the social element, minty. It's very experimental for us. It's the first time doing something like this. So bear with us as we put the clips together and we're going to be recording so many things from different angles and just giving so much value. So we really hope you enjoy this content. Best dodgeball content on YouTube. On the planet. On the planet. In the universe. Yeah, oh, damn. <laughs> Unless there's a multiverse out there that we don't even know about. In the multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's episode right here where we're going to be talking about team synergy and teamwork as we play as a team for the first time. So that's going to be very interesting. And watch over here if you're brand new to dodgeball and you don't know how to play dodgeball, then this is the rules that you can learn how to play. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Bye.